हेलो एवरीबॉडी आई एम सोमू गांधी गिरी वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेटिंग फॉर द रिजल्ट ऑफ जी पैट टू एंड द रिजल्ट टिल नाउ वेन आई एम रिकॉर्डिंग दिस वीडियो हैज नॉट पब्लिश्ड बाई एन टी ए द रिजल्ट मे बी पब्लिश्ड टू डे और टू मोरो और डे आफ्टर टू मोरो ओके बट दिस इज अ एग्जाम ओके सो इन द फाइनल मेरिट लिस्ट सम ऑफ यू विल क्वालिफाई दिस एग्जाम एंड सम ऑफ नॉट ओके सो दिस इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट to those who will not qualify this exam okay so this video is is going to be very very helpful for those who will not qualify this exam okay so if you are a student of b farm and if you are not having a gpat rank card okay and you want to do m farm or phd then this is the video for you okay so let's start so why you are doing to uh, why you are aiming to do m farm or ms there are two reasons number one to get a better job number two for higher study okay so these these two are the reason okay most common reason see if you want to do masters okay for any of these two reason then you have to keep in mind two important points okay number one is subject selection number two is utilization of time okay number one is subject selection number two is utilization of time what is subject selection see there are so many subjects on which you can do in farm okay but my advice is go for your favorite subject okay suppose i have love with i had love with pharmaceutics okay and uh, i studied this subject um, many many times many many times means in v farm i used maximum of my study time on pharmaceutics okay so i loved this subject i love this subject okay so that's why i took this subject on um, as a subject of my masters okay so if you are having love with pharmacology then you can go for it you, if you are having with uh, love with pharma physical chemistry then you can also go for it okay so subject selection is very very important and go for that subject on which you have some knowledge okay on which you have some knowledge that is very very important because if you are going if you are going to study pharmaceutics in masters and you do not know the basics of pharmaceutics like tablet what is tablet and what are the types of tablets and how tablet is prepared what is floating tablet and other things then it is going to be very very difficult for you to do masters in pharmaceutics okay after that the next important point is utilization of time i mean you will get two years for masters okay you have to fully utilize this subject uh, this time frame okay this is more than sufficient okay uh, you will get four semesters okay uh, semester 1 semester 2 semester 3 semester 4 in semester 1 and semester 2 these two semesters are very very important okay and uh, these are basically theoretical and in third semester from third semester onwards you will go you will uh, drive uh, dive into the research oriented aspects i mean you will uh, you have to start the beginning of your research project okay so these two semesters semester 1 and semester 2 these are very very important you have to develop the understanding you have to develop your uh, your power your knowledge on this subject in these two years okay after that if you want to get a job if you want to get a job after masters then what should be your strategy or what should be your uh, steps number 1 you have to take a admission where the placement record is good i mean you have to take admission in a college where the placement record is good okay there are so many colleges like bit mesra bits pilani jss college okay you can go for any one okay i am not mentioning that you have to take admission in this college or that college okay i will not i will not tell you that 
but you have to understand you have to study the past record placement record you have to talk with uh, the students of that colleges okay then you can talk with your seniors okay after that you will decide you can uh, take a decision where you have to go okay so where the place if job is your primary uh, demand or primary target then you have to go a college where placement record is good okay number 2 in m farm try to do a industry related project and develop adequate understanding on the topic industry related project means see you have to you are going to make a floating tablet okay floating tablet okay floating tablet you are going to make a floating tablet this is your project okay with uh, some model drug and uh, some excipients some uh, other things okay you are going to make a floating tablet so this the preparation of floating tablet what is floating tablet what are the basic mechanisms of floating all these things you have to know very very well these things okay number 3 if possible if possible then go for a industrial training in masters okay it will be very very helpful for you okay it will be more it, it will be better if you do training on analytical techniques or analytical instruments like hplc okay so uh, 15 days training on hplc or 10 days training on hplc okay you have to pay something okay but honestly telling these things are required when you will go for industry okay i mean hundreds of students having m farm they are uh, uh, giving cv okay uh, to the institutions to the industries but the industry will pick up those candidates only those having the relevant knowledge in the relevant field okay so that is very very important if i am going to uh, give my cv to uh, some i mean x company and you are going to uh, uh, send your cv with, um, in that x company and you are having a training on hplc 15 days training on hplc and you worked on that then honestly telling this thing will help you to get a call in interview okay so that is the funda and fourth thing which i have not mentioned here okay you have to study the subject well yeah. so the hands on experience on analytical techniques will boost you okay will help you okay if you are going to search a job after m farm or after your masters okay and next point if you want to do phd after masters through niper je then you should remember five points number 1 you have to take admission in good college it is not mandatory but you can do okay after that you have to do a research project in m farm okay and you have to be you have to be master on that topic that is very very essential okay suppose you are going to uh, do a research project on ophthalmic gel okay uh, institutional ophthalmic institutional then you should know what is institutional what are the mechanisms of gel formation and what are the evaluation methods okay and what are the characteristics you can uh, uh, what are the characteristics features you can uh, evaluate the final formulation okay all of these you should know okay and you have a good understanding on that particular research project okay number 2 number 3 if possible you have to clear gpat okay you have to you have to clear this exam okay anyhow we have to clear this exam in near future okay uh, be prepared yourself for giving this exam next time and i hope you can do it okay and this is very very important if you want to do phd from naipar okay and uh, any other reputed universities like naipar okay then this is the primary criteria that you are qualified in gpat okay number fourth point is do at least one publication in scopus index journal in m farm okay this is very very important okay number 5 if possible then do a industrial training or other training on analytical techniques like hplc it is also i have told you this point this point regarding regarding this uh, regarding the job 
and this is also will help you if you want to do phd okay so final thing is the last final notice it does not matter from where you have completed m farm okay and if you really love a subject then do masters on it okay otherwise leave it no need to do masters okay because in interviews your knowledge will be tested okay see in interviews there you should some you should have some ornaments like in case of phd okay i am telling you in case of phd you are having a research project okay and you should have a good knowledge on that number 1 number 2 you should have a gpad ranker and good rank number 3 you should have a at least one publication in scopus index journal number 4 is adequate knowledge on the subject okay all these things will be tested in case of interview okay so from which college you are doing masters it is not a mandatory thing it is not a really a uh, good thing on which your uh, interview will be done okay so this is not the matter the matter is your knowledge i am also have completed um, uh, mfarm my masters from a uh, not well known college okay not well known university okay i am from west bengal so when i appear in the interview in naipur ji for phd they ask me the name of my university four times because i hope they did not know my university but ultimately that doesn't matter the matter only thing that matters is your knowledge and your publication your work your effort okay so i hope this video is going to help you so if this video help you then please like this video and subscribe our channel thank you